Hey everyone, it's been a while. We're in the office on a Saturday. Rainy, where else would you rather be? We turn on this light and make it look a bit better. Whoa! Perks of having a light set up in your office is when you decide to actually do something like this, you have a light. Hey everybody, it's been a long minute and it's currently May 2022. And like I said, it's a Saturday. It's supposed to be a day off for me, but at the moment it's not. I'm actually supposed to be going to the driving range with Matt who works with me in about an hour and a half. It's something that I've started to pick up and enjoy over the last couple of months. So a nice new hobby that I'm really average at, but I'm trying to get better at. And also the internet decided to just stop working at home anyway. So decided on the way to the driving range, might as well pop through the office, get some work done. Set some things up that we need to set up for the office while it's the weekend, no one else is around. And also why not record a short video while we're at it. Something that came in the mail yesterday. Oh, I'll actually make a coffee while I'm here. Got a new upgrade for the Mac Mini, which has been working really well. Matt's been using the Mac Mini mostly for his editing, but we found that it's just a little bit short on ports. So quickly bought this on Amazon, came yesterday, got to put it on now. As you can see, we're still really working on our cable management, but Matt, when you see this vlog, it's a note to make sure we keep working on our cable management. Unboxing. So it looks pretty handy. The included USB-C just goes straight into the back of the Mac Mini. And then now, as you can see, the front of the Mac Mini is extended with micro SD, SD headphones, three USB-A and one new USB-C port. So. Very, very cool. Should increase productivity. Speaking of productivity, I can tell you what isn't good for productivity at the moment is the fact that the NBA season is on at the moment. Go Dubs! So over the last couple of weeks, I've been working closely with my business consultant who developed our first business plan officially, an official growth plan to start helping us in the business with productivity. Because now in year four of the business, this is something that actually matters, right? Our performance on projects actually matters because at the end of the day, it does impact our profitability and we're a business, we're not just hobbyists, so we have to make money. I have to be able to pay wages, pay overheads, and hopefully one day consistently pay myself. So that's been a big challenge and a big mission for me in terms of defining productivity numbers and how to manage performance and inspire and encourage, et cetera, to build up to where we are really quite profitable and can scale the business further. All at the same time, making it not like a factory and making sure that it's not just about that, making sure that we're enjoying the work, it's rewarding that we're developing as creatives as well. And so I've had the opportunity over the first couple of months of this year to take a bigger step back from the actual work of video production and spend more time building and working on the business, which has been amazing. But at the same time, I had a conversation yesterday with a friend of mine who is just on his journey of starting his own business potentially over the next year. And we were talking about the priorities of what actually you need to do when you're first starting your business. He's thinking a little bit about these things of developing a business plan, having goals and objectives, et cetera, et cetera, which, are, which is all very you know, important, not to discount the value of that. But we were talking for a while on the fact that one of the key lessons that I've learned now operating this business for a couple of years is if I was to tell myself back in year one, what I should focus on first and foremost, it's not developing a business plan that sounds good, looks good, etc. Those days are far over. Business is easier to start, definitely not easy to do, but you can start a business now if you can do 
two things really well at the very beginning. Number one is actually having a valuable business that provides a solution to people's problems that exist and being really good at delivering the solution to that problem because that's what you know makes sense for people to trade their money in exchange to get that value. And then number two would be focusing on how you get that work in the door. Those things are the most important things when you're starting your business at the very beginning, especially if you haven't had much experience in business and you're starting on your own. Potentially as a, like myself, a technician first, being good at the craft and then learning how to build a business out of it. Those are the two priorities. So I was saying to him that it would be very important to just focus on getting good at your craft, number one, especially being the technician first and foremost, and then figuring out how to actually get those people in the door that you can deliver that service on and start refining a lot of your business plan, etc., down the line. No business can actually exist without making sales and generating revenue. So now three to four years in for me, yes, that's still super important. And I'm actually spending more of my time on generating revenue, going out and marketing and doubling down on what works. But now I have to make the choices as I have decided to start scaling the business further and getting more employees to now I have to have processes down pat, have systems in place to monitor performance, et cetera, et cetera, which doesn't matter as much when you are a solo pineo at the very beginning of your journey. Don't overthink it. It really is something that you can learn as you go. You don't need a full-fledged business plan at the very beginning. It's important to start formulating some systems over time, but the most important thing is that you have all of the necessary official things to get you started, your legalities, being registered business, getting some of the things in place to capture payments, and then being good at delivering your service and everything else you can learn along the way. So I hope this helps someone who's watching this and I'm hoping to be able to provide some more video content as I can about the journey of continuing to build this business because man, four years in, seen a lot of highs and definitely am feeling a lot of lows as well, which is something I think again is so valuable to document, not just the highs, but also the lows. Cause that's what I'm doing. I'm still learning, still learning, don't know a lot. The more you know, the more you realize you don't know. Might need to create a bit more space in my calendar so that I can do this. But yes, hope this encourages someone who is at the beginning of their entrepreneurial journey. It's a blast, not about the destination, it's about the journey. I'm trying to remind myself of that every day. Hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world, whoever's listening, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.